Tottenham's defeat at Newcastle meant that Arsenal could close to within two points of their nearest neighbours by beating Aston Villa at Highbury. History suggested they would. Villa's last win against the Gunners was eight years and 14 games ago. Thierry Henry has particularly enjoyed himself with ten goals in his last nine starts against the Villains in the Barclays English Premier League. He was partnered in attack by Emmanuel Adebayor, who's cup-tied in the Champions League, but already making a mark in the domestic game. Adebayor replaced Alexander Kleb as Arsene Wenger reverted to the 4-4-2 formation he favours in the league. Still no Englishman in that 11. Kevin Phillips continued to partner Luke Moore up front for Villa. Milan Baros is still sidelined with an ankle injury. David O'Leary named an unchanged side from the one that drew 0-0 with Fulham last week. He's hoping that James Milner, Mark Delaney and Olaf Melberg will all be available for selection again shortly. With one eye on the relegation zone, the Villa manager was unlikely to enjoy his final return to Highbury, where he spent 20 years as a player. Watching this one, Davy Proven and Tony Jones. Sendros, that's a magnificent pass. Here's Henri. One pass too many, Arsenal needed then. I cannot believe Thierry Henry didn't pull the trigger. He's under no pressure at all. It's come straight through to Thierry Henry. Sorensen out smartly, but the ball's still loose. Away off the line, Adi Bayon. And this time Arsenal scored. Mistake there from Hughes, who gets himself back onto the goal line here. Sees the danger Sorensen committed. Thinks he's done reasonably well, but doesn't get it wide enough. But this header here is weak. And Adebayor was always favourite to win it. Four Premiership goals now for Arsenal. Top scoring African World Cup qualifying is Henri. Brilliantly done, absolutely fantastic from Thierry Henry. Once he's in behind, the first touch is exquisite to take all the pace off the ball. Sorensen's committed himself again in no man's land. And it's a kind of composed finish you expect now from Thierry Henry. Diaby. Adi Bayor. Referee says play on. Here's Henry. Decent save by Sorensen. To deny a boy. Good advantage allowed here by Martin Atkinson, the referee. Well, if he squares it, I think he's got every right to take that on. Arsenal fly out to Italy for their Champions League quarter final against Juventus on Wednesday, the second leg, having enjoyed that fabulous 2 0 win here on Tuesday. Henri. Thierry Henry, beautifully taken, and this is so, so easy for Arsenal now. Adebayor in behind, what a terrific layoff, and the finish was there to match as well. Although the finish alone is worth the admission money. Diaby is dispossessed, Hendry and here's Henry. Backing towards Adi Bayon. Wonderful save by Sorensen. And a brilliant move by Arsenal yet again. Two strikers have linked up so well to the only trying to pick out Adi Bayon, who gets across the front of the substitute, Cahill. And one layup. And here's Moore. Chance for Moore. Denied by Lehman. We we'll see Lehman stays up well here. He's got time to take a touch, get it out from his feet. Arsenal with one eye on the semi-finals of the Champions League, but also eager to press on and to claim fourth place in the Premiership. Van Persie. Brilliantly done. All his own work, Robin Van Persie. It's a wonderful ball from Pires. Pires of nowhere to go here. But terrific feet to get him back onto his left side, open up the goals. And it's another special finish here, and we've seen a few today. As much as David O'Leary admires Arsenal, I just wonder what's going through his head at the moment. 
Gutierrez. Van Persie. Confronted there by his fellow Dutchman, Wilfried Baumer. Davis still prepared to scrap. Oh, magnificent! What a glorious hit by Torre. It appeared to Ben very a big dip in the ball there, and Sorensen did well to deal with it. Bam. Pires. Adi Bayo. Diaby is racing through the middle. Diaby! Number five for Arsenal. From one end of the pitch to the other. Well, he eventually gets a head up here, Adi Bayo, because I don't think he spotted the Diaby originally. He's man for man with Hughes. Eventually he sees him. The pass certainly kept him on side. And one touch was enough. And it's turning into a bit of a hiding now for Villa. Entry. Nine minute full stretch, and he managed to get a hand to that. It has been a frustrating season for those Aston Villa supporters, and many of them are already heading for the exits.